cassettes are supposed to be a dead format, but here I am at Walmart about to buy an on-brand cassette recorder along with some cassette tapes. I'll purchase it, unbox it, and try it out coming up. I'm now back from Walmart with my tape recorder and my cassette tapes. I apologize for the shaky video. I didn't want to bring my Panasonic HCX1000 and tripod into Walmart, so I shot it with my phone instead. I've heard this brand pronounced several different ways, on and own. I think it's supposed to be on, so I'm going to call it on. Walmart has quite a few things with this brand, including TV sets, computer monitors, DVD players, including the portable variety camera accessories, television mounts, television cabling, computer cabling. If you browse around the electronic section at Walmart, you'll see this brand all over the place. Cassette recorders used to be a pretty crowded field with GE, Panasonic, Sony, uh, and other major brands. But these days there aren't so many brands sold. You can find a Jensen, you can find a Kobe, and you can find On. And they might very well all be the same tape recorder rebranded three different ways. So let's get into the unboxing, shall we? Looking at the outside of the box, we have an on cassette recorder with built-in microphone one-touch recording. Modern design with retractable handle, built-in speaker for convenient playback. And some dimensions. It says the same thing on the side and external microphone and blank cassette tape included. It says it runs on 4C batteries or included AC adapter. That is typical for this type of recorder. All right, let's get into this thing. Here's the external microphone. Here's the AC adapter. Here's the unit itself. Appears this is my cassette. Unlabeled. And not the same as the on brand cassette. It looks different. And an instruction manual with the model number. Warnings, descriptions of the inputs and outputs, how to load the batteries, how to play and record, the carrying handle, safety and specs, what's included. and an FCC statement and it says for best recording quality please use the external microphone provided comparing my on recorder to the others that I have of similar design the on is definitely smaller they tend to get bigger as they get older but I do believe the Panasonic may be older than the Califone all four have pull out handles. As far as inputs and outputs and controls, the on is most similar to my Optimus. Slightly different than the Panasonic and the Califone. Let's get some batteries in here and test this thing out.
All right, the deck seems to be playing back cassettes just fine. Next, I want to try out the remote switch, but the microphone that came with this unit does not have a plug for the remote switch. So I'm going to use this older tape recorder microphone with the dual plugs. One of these is for the remote switch. So the remote switch is working. A tape recorder test would not be complete without doing a recording. So let's use the cassette that came with this and and see how this thing sounds. I'm going to start by using the built-in mic on this recorder. Right now I'm on my lavalier mic. Now I am on the cassette tape. So you are hearing what I am recording onto this cassette recorder. I kind of like this blue light that shines. Uh, it doesn't really show my record level, but it does definitely indicate that it is recording my voice. All right, now I am recording with the external microphone that came with this unit. And we'll see how this sounds. Finally, I would like to try my Shure SM58. This is pretty much the industry standard dynamic microphone. So we'll see how this one sounds. Well, it's pretty clear that the on tape recorder is not a high fidelity device. I could probably get better results if I used better cassette tapes, but even then, what I get with this will not compare to what I get on my camera or even on my telephone. But still, it's fun to play with old technology, and this is brand new old technology. I would like to thank my patrons their support helps offset the cost of playing with toys like this. And I would also like to thank my subscribers. Stay thrifty, everyone.